from a Sambo perspective, we look at it this way, like we say, it's a total package. If I can get you down, transition from standing to ground in the process, get some points, good for me, but I definitely want to get that submission at the end of the, that's, that's the light at the end of the tunnel for us. We want to get that submission. So the basic idea here is I'm going to get one of my legs in front and then the other one comes around behind and then you just scissor him backwards. Okay, an important part is to hang on whichever grip you're using on the lead arm, you want to hang on that a little bit so that you get him down on his feet so that you can sweep him back. Now the nice way to do this is to post a hand down. So we're going to step in front, I'm going to post my hand right there and then as I sweep back, that allows me to take the majority of the pressure here and not twist on, on Goose's leg. Or if he twists out, it gives me more control so that I don't mess up Goose's leg in a bird okay? Yeah, this is again the more basic way we're showing right now. Yeah. So, get a grip, okay? Hang on that grip, step across, post, foot back, other leg high, and over. And the reason we do that a lot, because in Sambo, we look at it as a throw, a takedown, as a transition from a standing to the ground. It's a total package, like we like to say. So often you get points for that, of course, as a throw, but you also set the guy up for a nice straight knee bar, ankle lock, t you know, uh, heel hook, whatever it may be. So can you follow through with just a real basic, show sure. the real basic straight leg lock from there? Okay, so I'm gonna go for a, a, a basic ankle lock. Okay. So again, step across, we're gonna close down, back, Scoop the legs out, catch as he pops down, okay? It's literally as easy as just shooting my arm across as he falls down. Then we collect, sit back, and finish. Derek, you also have a way if you come across like a Harai Goshi with the, the, the leg across the hip and you can swing back. Can you show that as, as when you're a little closer or how you, like so, you, you know, you've tried that throw, okay? and he might have hip blocked you, he might have stopped it, but you've got, you've committed a leg across the, the body there. Okay, at this point, you're gonna shift and take him to his backside with a, with a Kani Basami or scissors throw. Right, so this is a more dynamic application of, and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna almost do a break fall through, okay? Because obviously, bending over and posting is gonna give it away. So I come through, catch, and there we go. So it's, it's you know, you, you start with an attack, he like stops it, he hip blocks it, and you literally just swing under, boom, there it is, actively getting him. Now, you threw him to the backside, and those, that's great, but you can also take him to the front. Basically, what we're gonna do is a, a scissors throw here, everybody, and we're gonna take the guy to the front or kind of roll him to the side, ending up in a nice leg submission. So that's the point of what we're going to do here. So whichever one you guys want to start with that. I'll go first and I'll let Goose go ahead and finish up. The important difference between this one is that as I'm coming across, I'm going to catch his far ankle. Okay? So I'm going to go through relatively slow at first and then we'll speed it up a little bit. Okay? So I'm going to catch, post here, and when this foot slides behind, I'm going to reach across and grab that far shin or far ankle. Okay? Slide through, catch, pull. And as he comes through, I'm going to belly down. See how I can roll over my head? I still have his lapel right here. And where is his ankle? Right where I want it to be, in my armpit. So as I roll up, I catch, slide through. And you get the tap. Show us one more time, sure. a little more dynamic. And uh, I'll try to get a good, better, better angle here. Okay, there we go. And you sit up through. Let me key in. I didn't do a very good job. Sorry, YouTube folks. I'm going to get a back view. You start the same position you did. I'll come from a back view so we can see the finish leg lock. Okay, so when you're ready, you go right ahead. And you finish up there. And you belly down. And so what you're doing, you're driving. It's a basic, basic uh, straight 
ankle lock is what yeah. you're finishing with, which is totally legal in Sambo. Perfectly legal. Uh, if you wanted to use that you know, in another sport, you could, but you could also make a toe hole, finish, heel hook, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's what we do, we finish that, because that is a legal Sambo move. Now, it, this is basically the same thing. You're trying to reach for the furthest leg, and instead of grabbing here, I'd like to grab the opposite lapel. That so, way, as I'm going down, he's already leaning forward. As I'm reaching, he should roll with me. And here, his leg is already tucked in for an ankle walk. Nice roll to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me come around to the other side here, guys. So. You could also have it on the same side, but it's more preferences in this case. Either, up, either have, have, have it on the opposite, on the same, same, same way. Come in here, reach. Always make sure you shoot your, your arm right into his ankle as you roll in, because if you don't, this leg rolls out, you can always get out. He's got to scramble. That's right. You're not in the position you want to be, so you've got to keep hold of that ankle. Okay, I'll back up and do it again. All right. And you could switch position if, he's, if he has his, uh, his grip up high, turn it down. It's a good way to set up. And you can switch, mm -hmm. go in. Let's, right. now, let, me, let me get Kian on that finish position so you can see. Everybody, see how he's using his legs to trap? Look how close his knees are, really kind of bundling in Derek's legs. And then he finishes with a good straight ankle lock in this particular case. shoulder grip or around the shoulder grip I should say and then this hand doesn't matter so much because it's going to be scooping behind Eric's leg here in a second. So when I hop up this leg comes across his belt line this hand is going to scoop behind his, his knee and then this leg is just going to fold up. And in and of itself that's a really good throw and like in Sambo you can pick up a good four pointer from that. Um, but you're really ending up in a nice leg submission situation. That's the purpose of it, actually. I mean, you don't have to do it from a leg submission. You can crawl right into a, a, a And either way, it's really it's a throw and a transition because you really have plans for him at the end of that movement. Yes. And you could uh, like really leg you know leg lock or really get a nice pin as well but in the process get some points for the throw let's watch a few more guys just practice and have fun i'll i'll video <laughs> That way it has like all of the weight on it. You can jump on and that's like everybody's weight. Cheer? I have to tighten it. And, and Derek here, with your left hand, it scoops really deeply behind his knee, doesn't it? Yeah. And is your, le is your left leg you're, you're jamming in there? Yep. Okay. Right your right leg. Yes, your right leg. Yes. Your left leg goes across. I'm sorry. Yeah, my mistake. Kind of right there. Sometimes it floats a little bit farther back. But I'm going to hang on to this grip and allow it to kind of pendulum swing down and hook as deep as I can on the back of the leg. Okay. Yeah, from that angle, you get a good angle from this back side. Shows how you hook and also jam your leg under. Go ahead and finish out with a nice, uh, like a straight leg lock, whatever leg submission you want to finish to show that that's, that's entirely possible from here as well. And there's your knee bar. So really, again, we can use it as a, as a good throw for points and certainly uh, finish a nice transition to a leg lock as well, and maybe even a pin. This one, it's basically you could do this off of a, a single, a high crotch, or if the guy tries to tree talk you. It's easiest if the guy tries to tree, tree talk you. So Mike has. No, actually, 
Okay, you're gonna go that side? Yeah. Let me come around that switch so you can see that. Okay, so no, no. He's got the single, okay? He pulls it up really high because he thinks that he's just gonna try and, you know, flip me on the ground this way, okay? There we go. Or right. he might have it between his legs to right. park it there like a lot of wrestlers right. do. We yeah, see that. His, his head down nice and yeah, and that's, that's often so done. It happens okay. a lot too. So we'll start with the treetop because that's the easiest, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I can either catch a wizard, keep control of the head, or the easiest one is to catch right behind that armpit right there, okay? So don't be way out here, lean on him a little bit, catch behind uh, the armpit. I'm gonna take one hop back, and then I'm gonna scoop my legs behind his and do a Kani Basami, okay? So we hop. We have two things, actually three things going on here. Derek wants to get out of that that high leg grab, that, that treetop stuff, okay? Number one, we're seeing that. So how can I get out of that? He's gonna, he's gonna take me down. Number two, he said, I wanna get him to the mat. So he's gonna hop back, and notice when he does hop back, he posts on his hands if he needs to, on his left hand, to swing his left foot back, get the Connie Basami, the scissors throw. Third thing he wants to do, finish with the, uh, in this case, the Ankle, ankle, ankle lock. lock. But you could just as easily go into a heel hook. Or... Heel hook or, you know, whatever, but yeah, probably heel hook or ankle lock, toe hold. There you go. Now, watch, watch it how you, how he finishes, how he actually gets the scissors throw. Now, okay. when he hops around, look at the body position. Okay, so foot's as close to getting outside as I can. You might not be able to get way over here, but get, get as close as you can, okay? Then as you take a hop, I'm going to guide my leg behind him, and if I need to, I'll post. Technically, you don't need to post, but it helps to get your confidence up with this move, okay? And also, I'm keeping him nice and tight, okay? So, I've hopped out, boom, I'm going to hop up, swing behind, post if I have to. Okay? And as soon as I hit the ground, I'm hooking that near side leg. Okay? If you have to, we're going to lock him back in. Now, with, with a, that, in this case, Derek's left leg, when he shoots it behind, watch what he does with his foot to manipulate Mike's leg. He, he comes back and watch the ankle action. Now, now watch that foot. See, boom. See, he chops it. And you want to kind of lift up a bit, scoop in on this ankle, bring it all the way over, finish. And this is a common position. We get caught with this, everybody gets caught with this, and here's a good counter. For that, that, you know, the high, the high leg, they, they grab, and you catch it. Okay, you'll see this in any form of combat sport, you know, that has a, that's legal. Wouldn't be legal in judo. Kani Basamis aren't legal in judo, but certainly sambo, sambo MMA, submission MMA, grappling, grappling, you know, whatever. Yep. Okay, we want to try that, guys? Let's give it a go. Basically, we're doing an, an inversion into a Kani Basami. So the idea here is I'm going to do a lunge, and then I'm going to do what we call a sideways roll. It could be a grand B, depending on the way you think of things. I'm going to be completely inverted, like this. Okay? So I'm going to use this hand to bring my feet all the way around. Okay? So, you do a complete 360, you bring this foot across his waist, this foot comes behind his knee, and that creates the Kani Basami effect. As soon as we hit the ground, you lift, hide your feet, dig in for the ankle lock, or the inverted. Okay. So that is really a nice spin into that lacing of the leg, or Kani Basami, you know, leg entwining. Right, and that helps. The important part is that the inversion as well as that the hand on the knee that you're attacking. So when I come through, that's going to elicit a reaction, but it also lines me up halfway in between. I split them down the middle. Then as I get inverted, I'm going to scoot it. That same hand comes over on this side and hooks. And as I flip around and take them down, it's going to switch to an overhook, but I still keep that 
so the back of his knee. If I lose this, so I feel like I'm going to have head right there. Switch. Okay. Then i got to be ready when he goes on. Go up. Down he goes. Notice how when I come around, the hand is automatically there because it just turns in a complete 360. Don't lose it. Left and tied. Slide through for the ankle lock. Left and slide through for the ankle lock. Okay. So one more time through. So again, remember that, that anchor hand all the way through. That's what's going to keep you locked in on the leg. A lot of people will have trouble with this on anchoring that initially and getting that getting that head so close in. Right. What would you say to help somebody new that's really trying to master this, watching this video right now? Number, to number one, it's, it's easier to start with getting inverted and going for the inverted knee bar. Because really, that only takes 180 degrees of rotation rather than you know 360 plus adding that kind of asami effect on the end. But if you want to jump right in there, go for it. We're going to hitchhike, okay? So we come in, make sure you at least tap that leg when you're starting out, okay? So lunge in, tap the leg, elicit a reaction, and then hitchhike, okay? Give me a ride. Hitchhike this way and then hook the back of the knee. Hook the back of the knee as I come around here, okay? I'm going to pull my head on the other side, okay? And then bridge my hips up, okay? Hand's still there. Down he goes. Pull that knee down towards the floor to get the nice 90 degree effect. So you'll probably land right about here. Pull it up and over. Lift. Now we're in the saddle position with the double underhooks as we call them here. Okay. I can let go at this point and squeeze. Slide that other hand through. Okay. Lift. And go through for the inverted. The inverted one, yeah. Very nice. Okay. So oh, really? it's not a momentum move and it's not something that requires you to be very bendy. It still requires control in that, that underhook or hitchhiking hand is your control point. So if you lose that, you're probably not going to get this unless you're very athletic. Correct, correct. Okay. And one of the key things is we always say one of the, for the, any of the new guys out there, stay around. You're yes. staying around the entire way. That's helping you get in there, compact, roll under them, control movement. Okay, thanks a lot.